Hey Texas transplants in North Carolina, Flytrex drones can now deliver your food right to your doorstep in just five minutes. This is the first time such a delivery service is available in suburban areas. The drones cover about 8 kilometers round trip and can fly at speeds up to 51 kilometers per hour, so your coffee stays hot and your ice cream doesn't melt. No pilots needed, just a team of operators keeping an eye on things for safety. Each order can weigh up to 2.5 kilograms, and if you're not in the mood for lunch, you can also get essentials like toilet paper delivered. Enjoy the convenience. Have you been to restaurants that have ditched paper menus? We're not talking about McDonald's and similar places. Many spots now use digital menus accessed via QR codes or smartphone apps. But HoloLamp has taken this to a whole new level. Their innovative projector has caught the attention of the American, British, and French press. This projector doesn't just display images on your table. It also shows 3D models of burgers, steaks, cakes, and everything else on the menu. You can adjust the scale and rotate the dishes for a better view. The best part? No special glasses needed. Now, guests can accurately gauge portion sizes, and with a brightness of 200 lumens, the picture quality is excellent in any lighting. Unitree H1. Imagine a world where Skynet wins, and we're being chased by robots that remember every little misfortune and every kick from their creators. Maybe they shouldn't have made these robots so speedy they can reach almost 12 kilometers per hour. How far could you run at that pace? The makers claim it's a record among similar robots, and they're aiming to boost their speed to 18 kilometers per hour in the future. Meet the robot, Unitree H1. It's designed to be a versatile assistant, capable of carrying cargo in warehouses, and even showing off some dance moves. We can't wait to see what the latest versions can do. The Polish team Nevomo has made incredible strides over the past year by introducing Magrail, the world's first flying train designed to run on existing railroads. This train uses maglev technology, which relies on electromagnetic fields. According to Nevomo, Magrail can potentially reach speeds of around 550 km per hour. The test results are just as impressive, with the train accelerating to 100 km per hour in only 11 seconds, and achieving a top speed of 135 km per hour. While some adaptation of current railroads is necessary, Magrail is a much more cost-effective solution compared to building entirely new tracks for new train designs. Many rural areas in Germany struggle with public transportation, with most people relying on cars. The few buses that do run are often nearly empty, making them inefficient and unprofitable. To address this, the Monob Owl team has come up with a fresh approach to rail transportation. Given that Germany has Europe's largest railroad network, their solution involves placing small pods on the rails. Each pod can accommodate up to six people and can be easily ordered through an official app. These compact pods can run in both directions on single track lines and are operational year-round. What do you think? Does it sound promising? The Chemjet Tree Injector is a refillable syringe designed for injecting various substances directly into tree trunks, whether for treatment, stimulation, or pest control. To use it, simply drill holes about 4 cm deep into the tree, then inject the contents of the syringe under spring pressure. This method has proven effective against the relatively new disease Phytophthora remorum, also known as sudden oak death. Additionally, being able to use multiple syringes on a single tree saves time and boosts efficiency, making it especially useful for large parks. Sea Rider In China, on February 27th, a cab zipped from Shenzhen to Zhuhai in just 20 minutes, a journey that normally takes about two and a half hours. The twist? This cab didn't stick to the roads. It actually flew. It feels like we're one step closer to living like the characters in the fifth element. And speaking of futuristic rides, Sea Rider jet skis might soon take over from the classic ones. These electric vehicles are interesting hybrids. Sea Rider upgraded the steering to be sharper, more like a motorcycle, and they also shed some weight. Now they weigh just 65 kilograms. 
You can rev up to 77 kilometers per hour, and a full charge gives you 50 minutes of riding fun. Imagine a treadmill designed for climbing, that's treadwall fitness in a nutshell. It stands upright, and what's most fascinating is that it operates without a motor. Instead, it rotates under the weight of your body, adjusting its speed automatically. If you need to slow down, you can engage the built-in hydraulic brake for a more intense workout. Treadwall fitness can be tilted, with some versions angled up to minus 35 degrees. Your training data is displayed on the LED screen. The most compact version comes with a price tag of $15,900, occupying roughly the same space as a traditional treadmill. As long as your ceilings are high enough, you can enjoy climbing an endless rock wall from the comfort of your own home. Surge S32. They've come up with something even cooler, a rickshaw that transforms into a scooter. By the way, India has now snagged a spot in the top three global car markets as of the end of 2022, so there's definitely a market for this wonder. It's called the Surge S32, and it's technically an electric car with two separate power units. The rickshaw comes in various body variants, PV with passenger seats, and LD with a cargo platform, similar to a pickup truck. The transformation into a scooter takes just three minutes and doesn't require any tools. It can reach a decent speed in both modes, around 45 kilometers per hour for the rickshaw and 60 kilometers per hour for the scooter. But here's the catch. The driver of the Surge S32 needs a license for two categories at once. Verdi stands out as the most advanced robotic gardener in the world. Its creators made a smart and profitable decision by designing a wide range of tools, specifically for Verdi, from shears to trimmers and blowers, ensuring the robot's hands are always busy. This reduces idle time significantly. Verdi is continuously learning and improving itself, thanks to the ES-1 artificial intelligence model, which helps it navigate unexpected situations like avoiding obstacles and freeing itself from gopher holes. The robot's legs are impressive too, allowing Verdi to adjust its body's angle, roll, and height. The company behind this innovation is Electric Sheep Robotics. Does that mean it was founded by dreaming androids? The Cybi prosthesis is pretty cool, especially since it suits kids as young as two. It's super lightweight, with some versions weighing only 200 grams, like three ice cream cones. There are no fancy electronics, so it can handle heavy rain without any issues. Its touchscreen fingers allow people to use smartphones, tablets, and other devices. Plus, Cybi helps strengthen forearm and hand muscles, and even includes an interchangeable module for jump rope workouts. Each prosthesis is customized to fit not only the wearer's anatomy, but also their preferences. You can choose the color of each part and even decorate Cybi with drawings. Last year, a groundbreaking medical procedure took place in Japan. For the first time ever, a patient underwent a simultaneous lung and liver transplant from living donors. This intricate surgery required the expertise of 40 specialists who worked tirelessly for 18 hours. Medical professionals often have to endure long periods on their feet, so to alleviate this burden, the Japanese company Nitto developed Aerals. This innovative small exoskeleton allows users to work in a semi-sitting position. Notably, it's passive, meaning it doesn't require any power source. Pipe water can contain over 60 harmful substances like lead and arsenic, and bottled water can be pricey, not to mention that less than 10% of plastic bottles get recycled. So, how do we stay hydrated? Enter Spout, a solution to both problems. This device extracts up to 9.5 liters of water from the air daily, making it 50% cheaper than water delivery. Plus, Spout's water undergoes filtration, making it more than twice as clean as tap water. Installation costs $600, and you can pre-order it now with a $99 deposit. Imagine windows that display anything but the actual view outside. Sounds like a premise from a thriller movie, right? However, you can actually purchase these innovative windows. The Atmoff Window Yo model, for instance, costs $529, and this price is justified by significant upgrades. The CPU operates four times faster and the GPU is 15 times more powerful. The window measures 27 inches diagonally. 
To keep things interesting, the creators have compiled a library of over 1,700 videos in 6K format, featuring underwater worlds, deserts, cities, and even landscapes from the game Death Stranding. Additionally, the window comes with a built-in travel guide and an AI-powered assistant that can estimate travel time from your city to the location displayed and even recommend restaurants. In June last year, experts successfully tested the Phaser 34 at an altitude exceeding 20 kilometers. This drone serves as a cost-effective alternative to satellites and runs on solar energy. The Phaser 34 can stay airborne for a whole year with a payload capacity of 15 kilograms, making it ideal for tasks like setting up 5G networks and monitoring forest fires. With an impressive 35-meter wingspan and speeds of about 145 kilometers per hour, it's set to hit the market in around three years. Cooking enthusiasts can now grow their own fresh ingredients right in their kitchen, with Marco, a revolutionary system that looks like a stunning piece of modern art. Created by a Spanish culinary duo who spent 10 years perfecting it, Marco is a completely self-sustaining system that takes the hassle out of watering, soil maintenance, and weeding. It doesn't even require natural light, thanks to its specialized LEDs, and hydroponics handles the watering process. The standard package includes eight plants of your choice and a six-month subscription to the new Farm Club, which offers online courses combining cooking and gardening. This innovative kit is available for $1,314. What's on the menu for the journey to Mars? According to the Eden ISS project participants, it's all about greens and vegetables. In a compact space of 13 square meters, they managed to grow 29 kilograms of tomatoes and 51 kilograms of cucumbers, along with greens, cabbage, radishes, and more. Surprisingly, all of this thrived in a special soilless greenhouse in Antarctica. Eden ISS employs aeroponics, irrigating roots with a nutrient mix, and LED lamps that successfully conquered the polar night, even when the temperature outside was minus 40 degrees Celsius. Modern technology doesn't flinch at such extremes. The data from Eden ISS isn't just valuable for space travel. It could also inspire us to build greenhouses in icy and sandy deserts on Earth. Construction on the world's first commercial space station, Axiom, is underway, with the first module currently being welded. It's expected to be launched into orbit soon, with plans for deployment in 2026. The Axiom team holds the exclusive right to connect modules to the International Space Station. As the ISS nears the end of its operational life, Axiom will be assembled piece by piece while the ISS is still in service, eventually serving as one of its replacement options. According to the Axiom website, the station will consist of four modules, a research module, a power module, and two habitation modules. Additionally, the station's facilities are expected to accommodate pharmaceutical production in the future. This workstation is so versatile, you might joke about driving it to the bathroom without looking away from your screen. But seriously, the J20 Gatling version boasts an impressive screen setup accommodating three 29-inch monitors or one massive 49-inch super-wide display. The designers recommend working in a semi-reclined position to reduce spinal strain and improve blood circulation in your lower body. Interestingly, the station doesn't come with a motor, so installation is up to the buyer and a few helpful friends. Measuring 160 by 88 by 160 centimeters, the J20 Gatling version comes with a hefty price tag of $4,199.